Welcome to the video blog, Love My Life. Do you remember when you were in school and you received your school uniform and you looked like the same as everybody else, so you tried to change it a little bit, the guys made their ties a little bit different, the girls moved their skirts in different ways to make sure they, they stood out a little bit. Everyone wants to be an individual. It's, it's difficult to sort of have everyone looking the same, acting the same, being the same. I remember actually seeing that great advert for Uggs where everybody's feet were, you know, you just saw the feet, everyone was wearing Uggs, and the Uggs were in different colors, and the advert said, dare to be different. We all want to be different, we all want to stick out. Individuality is something that we all sort of strive to, to have. And I think that it's interesting that in the Torah portions that we're reading these weeks, we talk about the sacrifices that all the Jews brought and the different sacrifices, and the sort of technical sides of every activity that was done in the Temple. And it's often very difficult to learn, very tedious, very technical, very exacting, that everyone doing these activities in these very specific ways, sometimes very difficult to relate to. The rabbis tell us that prayer, actually, is in replacement of the sacrifices. And once again, it's a struggle sometimes to pray. The same siddur, the same book, the same words as the guy sitting next to you, the girl sitting to the left of you, whoever you are, wherever you are in the synagogue. It's difficult, the same book. Everyone wants to be an individual. And I once heard a great idea about the sacrifices that I want to share, which hopefully can allow us to appreciate and love life that much more. The verse in the Torah tells us that when you're ascending to the top of the altar, the top, the height of the sacrifices, where everyone is striving and achieving to become great, at the height of the altar, it was very tall. The altar had to be built. It was actually 10, almost tall, about 20 feet approximately in the air. It was high. And in order to get up to the top, you weren't allowed to use stairs. You weren't allowed to get up to the top of the altar by building stairs, says the Torah at the end of Parsha Yisro. The Torah tells us in order to get to the top, you need to build a ramp. No stairs, but rather a ramp. And the rabbis ask why, and they offer many different opinions, very many different ideas as to why the ramp is necessary. But I heard something that I really found very profound. One of the reasons listed is that the reason that stairs are problematic is because stairs are uniform. Everyone's trying to get to the top of the altar. Everyone's trying to achieve greatness and become the best that they can. Everyone's heading towards that same goal. But the way that you get there shouldn't be uniform. When you go up steps, every single person is going to be walking up those steps exactly the same. If the steps are four inches, four inches, four inches, then every person walks up those steps four, 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 three inches, three inches, three inches, however the steps are built, everyone going up or down them, the same as the person before you and the same as the person behind you. Everyone going up those steps is going to be doing it exactly the same. The Torah's message for us is that when you're trying to become great, when you're heading up that ramp, you can do it in your own way. The beauty of a ramp is that I'm going to take very large steps while you're taking even larger steps. This person's taking small steps, this person's taking baby steps. And each individual gets to the top in their own personal way. Everyone gets to express their own individuality while heading towards the same goal. Everyone is going the same place but getting there based on who they are as an individual. And that's the beauty of a ramp. It allows ourselves to express that individuality. In fact, Every day you might be going up that ramp differently. One day with large steps, the next day with small, depending on where exactly you fit in that day, how you're feeling, what you're doing, what your experiences are. The Torah gives us that expression of self. It allows us to be able to become great in the best way that we possibly can. Love my life. Thank you.